Elon Musk explains, this is the situation with Twitter. What is happening with Twitter, why is it happening, and why are some people ecstatic while others are terrified? On April 4, 2022, Elon Musk, a British fan of the world, acquired 9.2% of Twitter's shares, making him the company's largest single shareholder. The more shares you have, the more ownership you have over the company. A few days later, he offered to buy the remaining shares of Twitter for $54.20 per share, for a total of $44 billion. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to discuss Elon Musk explains, this is the situation with Twitter. Stay tuned to find out. So, let's start our video. His price was reasonable, but not everyone liked how he did it. Instead of making a friendly offer, he said, if you don't let me buy it, I have no confidence in the way this company is currently being run, and I'm going to sell my 9.2% of shares. Kind of strange that he put the deal on hold because he suddenly felt like there were too many fake accounts on the platform and, therefore, he was overpaying. We use YouTube, so we can relate to the bots, but this very sudden 180 raised the question of whether he was trying to trash talk Twitter to drive down their stock price and get away with paying less. Twitter wasn't happy about it. Celebrities have publicly stated they're leaving, marketers have pulled their spending, and every day you read a new article that basically states the corporation is burning from the inside out. Does Elon genuinely know what he's doing? What's the motivation behind all of this? We can begin to piece together a picture by examining what he stated when he initially made the offer, I didn't do it because it would be simple, I didn't do it to make money, I did it to try to serve humanity. And while it's difficult to take that statement at face value, given that he almost backed out of the deal because he was paying too much, if all he wanted to do was get even richer, there were a million easier ways to do it than to offer $44 billion for a company that loses money almost every year. Twitter's financial situation is not good, but it's improving. Consider the man's previous enterprises. Elon Musk owns Tesla, which is promoting the use of eco-friendly electric vehicles. SpaceX is attempting to make humanity an interplanetary species, and with neutralizing, Musk is discovering a means for our brains to speak directly with computers. Of course, Musk is generating money from these endeavors, but the point is that they all have a larger purpose. I can accept that his noble motives have at least a grain of truth because forward-thinking corporations carry the world population into the future. Elon Musk has stated on multiple occasions that he sees Twitter as the digital town square of the future in a world where people are meeting less and less physically. He's saying that it's crucial to still have a place where people can come together, say what they want, and engage in healthy, non-biased debates on important topics. It doesn't have that many monthly active users, and it's not very good at accurately targeting advertisements to the few users it does have. Given that advertising is the engine that enables the internet to function, Twitter has been losing money for six of the past eight years. What are you going to do if this new CEO suddenly comes in? He hasn't announced a clear future plan, but he wants to make it a platform with far less censorship and, therefore, more controversy. Half of the things he has tried have failed miserably, such as how allowing everyone to verify themselves has allowed scammers to pretend to be big companies and make false announcements, causing the company's stock price to plummet. To purchase Twitter, Elon Musk had to personally borrow billions of dollars, which must be repaid. He's lost hundreds of billions of dollars off the value of his Tesla company, in part because fewer people want to be associated with his brand image and in part. After all, people fear he won't be able to run the company effectively anymore. So what does this imply for us before the negative? Let's discuss the goods. Elon Musk appears to have no filter, and while some of the things he says, as a result, are obviously nasty, it does provide a level of openness that companies very rarely provide, there are no neatly prepared press releases. It's essentially just saying that we're going to do some foolish things, some of which will work and some of which won't and then you see him attempt those stupid things, realize they don't work, and then repair them, not to mention the recent Twitter files, which was a disaster. Elon basically shared several internal Twitter documents that demonstrated how the pre-previous Twitter leadership censored stories, 
and he's far more present than most CEOs in actively and individually responding to customer complaints and feedback. How often is it that you can complain about a massive social media corporation, and the CEO himself answers the phone? Propagate hateful language and spread false news to gain a following to reinforce their ideas, so if he means by free speech to unban people who have been banned for stuff like this, that doesn't seem like a solution that will end well. On the other hand, if you dig deeper, his policy doesn't seem as black and white as that. He's not saying that anyone can say anything and that all content will be treated equally. Rather, he's suggesting that instead of banning an account when they violate, there should always be a means to view a user's profile and tweets, similar to an online chat archive. I think both sides have merit, but Elon's free speech vision doesn't solve the problem that someone still has to decide what's acceptable and what's not. Is that now just Elon? He posts many things that some people find funny, but others really offensive. That's just comedy being legal now, but the system failed when comedian Kathy Griffin created an account that looked like Elon Musk's to demonstrate how they're paid to get verified. That's all for today's video. Tell us in the comments section how was today's video. I hope that you find this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more and provide us with your valuable feedback. See you in the following video with some more notable celebrities facts and stories, and until then, stay tuned.